this is going to be my first video of Genshin Impact. Um, for those of you guys that have been subscribed to my channel, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I haven't been able to upload as much as I wanted to just because I'm in my senior year, or rather last quarter of college, um, getting a Bachelor's of Science Mechanical Engineering degree. So um, I appreciate all of you guys that have been stuck with me whether I upload one video every six months or zero videos every six months so thank you guys so much for that but let's get on to this game um, I think this game right here is a nominee for one of the best games that um, that's been released since I think this game came out in September Genshin Impact and there's just so much to do in this game. Um, obviously, you have your character that you can wish for. And, you know, I think for someone like me who's played Madden and open packs, um, I'd rather play this game more. Even though, like, I play this game on the side, this is not my main game. When I come to play, like, usually it's between it's usually Madden is my primary and then I play this game to the side but obviously yes it's a gotcha game so you're gonna have to spend some money on this game um, but you get to keep these characters for the until your account is corrupted or something like it's not Madden where they just reset the game every year and then you gotta go rebuy your whole team back together this game is just you buy the character once he's good he's gonna be end game for a while like this is just awesome so that's what I wanted to bring up um, so if you guys are into open world games and like to fight and farm your materials and stuff like that this might be the game for you obviously um, spending money is not a requirement the game is free to play but um, certain characters you can get for but you don't have to spend money in the game to get certain characters it's just gonna take a little bit longer for you if you do if you don't spend money so um, we're here to talk about so this video is not brought to you um, if you're a new player um, but more of like an end game player or like, you know, at least I would say a venture rank 20 or above, watch this video. So, here's the thing. Um, Genshin Impact has some of these bosses that you can defeat and, you know, there comes a time where you gotta fight this huge dragon dude right here that I'm looking at. And you want the best chances of you defeating him. So this is what I like to do. I usually like to grab a healer, two supports, and a main damage dealer. Um, so I like to clear out as my space or my team for that. Um, mainly because I think supports are very important in this game. Without supports, um, I don't believe anyone survives in this game. So, it's made very well that you can have four units. So right here, Devalin, um, you just want to basically hurt him as much as you can, obviously. But, as quick as possible. Um, you don't want to give him time to shower your gear, uh, heal. So, so, just keep hitting him. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what artifacts I have on certain guys, so be sure to wait to stay at the end of the video for that. Um, it's gonna be a quick one through. So, you just wanna dodge these, and then he's gonna do his meter shower, and then I'm gonna have to go to a new platform. Don't st In the beginning of the game, I stayed in the same platform, because I didn't know any better. So don't do what I did. Go grab the wind current, go fly to another platform. And if this one's destroyed, fly to the next one. There's one that will be, uh, there's one that will be fine. 
So I just took some damage with this claw, which is fine. That's why we have Jean. In the beginning. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for him to come down again. Do what he wants. Get the third. So, you just want him to wait for him to do that. And he's going to do pity him, honestly. Vaporize is also an elemental effect. Uh, take advantage of that. Combine elements together. So, like, I think the best one is Super Conduct, which is Ice and um, Electric. But ice char uh, Electric characters are kind of bad right now, so... Um, any elemental resonance is good. Yeah, I thought I can get the third hit in. Killed them. <clears throat> Obviously, we can't grab our rewards because we already got it this week, so we're not believed. But that's how you kill the main villain in the story. Um, I want to give a tip to all of you guys who are new as well. I don't want to make it just so that you're a mid level tier. So I want to say if you're new to this game, you want to use your resin right here where it says 89 of 160 you're gonna have like 160 of 160 when you first start I need you to start farming and go get either Mora from this cloud or get adventure rank books from where is it it's a blue cloud okay right here um, right here. Alright? You're gonna farm for as many of these as you can. And the reason why is because when you get to a level like me, like, I'm a Rancher in 55, so I'm at the end of the game. Right? <laughs> I don't have enough talent books to upgrade my characters. Like, I've been at 82. The only two I was able to max out was John Lee. I, my Venti right now I'm currently using is only at 70. Xing Chou's at 70, so, like, Everybody right now is, you know, wanting to be leveled up, and I don't have any adventure books. And let alone, like, if you look at my inventory to, like, upgrade for weapons. Like, I only had 266,000 Mora. Now, some of you guys that never play the game might think that's a lot, but... I think a level 5 character, like, a Venture Rank 5 character could have more Mora than me. And that's kind of, that's the sad reality of it. So, um, I didn't do that when I first started playing the game because I just wanted to get my adventure rank up. Take advantage of your adventure rank. If you're at a low level, take advantage of that because that's what's going to propel you into the end game where you've got to fight Spiral Abyss. Because right now, I can't even clear Spiral Abyss. Like, I'm struggling, like, I can't get a single star on 11-2. So, take advantage of that. Um, I wish you guys all the best, but uh, that's what I would say is that if you're below um, hunting, like if you can't open a domain to hunt for um, art, of, I mean talent books or or weapon ascension materials, go farm for talent books and mora, because you're gonna need as much of that as you can. Um, I made the mistake of ranking up early, um, but obviously do your uh, daily commissions, um, don't skip those, no matter what you do, 
Like, if you only have, like, five minutes in a day to play this game, go do your daily commissions. Um, those will help you wish for a character that you want. I think they give you, like, 60 Primo Gems every single day, so... Um, if you do those, like, I think... Ten days in a row you'll get like 600 and then eventually you'll have like server updates that'll give you like 300 and whatnot so um, just keep doing those and then eventually the game will give you some premium gems so don't ever slack off dailies always do your dailies so uh, just make sure you do those and then a lot of the times you want to do these like you'll have like these side quests you want to do those too um, they're not as important in the early game but they could be, become important when you're like me and you want to upgrade your adventure rank because right now I have no like some of those side quests are only for certain levels and I decided to skip them because I was an idiot but um yeah, I, I skipped a lot of my side quests, so now I don't have any quests for me to do gain XP. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, make sure you do these uh, dailies. That's my best advice. And then just um, run around the world of um, Genshin. Just because, like, you know, you don't you're not guaranteed a chest or anything doesn't mean like you don't have anything important like there are certain places where you can find artifacts um, the game is designed for open world players that choose to invest their time into exploring so if you like to explore um, like the whole part of the like the whole game go do that um, a lot of you guys like me who just want to get certain things done that's okay too because if I was able to survive through this you guys could too so um, I think it's a play style that's made for everybody and I think that it's a great game it has great right now it's not in the best state just because um, it's, it's not in the best state right now just because um, there are certain parts of the world that hasn't been unlocked yet but I'm sure once the world those parts of the world gets unlocked um, this game will be more viable and a lot of people that used to play this game will come back and to wanting to play, to play more of this game I truly believe that so what I mean by that is for those of you guys that don't know we have some of these sections let me zoom out. Okay. We have certain parts of these sections that hasn't been unlocked yet, right? Like, these, this is all we have right here. And then it says this is the chasm, I think, right here. Okay, it, it doesn't, but you're just gonna, yeah, right here. That's the chasm, right? So, this is all that's unlocked. They have so much more that they could add to this game. And I, I think in the manga, if I read it correctly, um, I do believe that they're going to expand. So a new world's going to expand. So for those of you guys that haven't finished exploring, please start exploring. I haven't even fully explored, as you can see. Like, I have 82%, 85%, 92 89 90%. Like, the only... I think those are the only two sections. Wind Whale, Highland, and... Gale Song Hill are the only 100%. So, um, yeah, you guys just enjoy the game. What I would want to say, if you don't take anything away from this video, I just want you to try this game. Download the game. Try playing it for a little bit. Um, some of the story quests are, are long, but the open world stuff is where the whole bread and butter of the game is. So... Try it out. If it's not you, you can disinstall at any time or uninstall. Gosh, I can't talk. Um, uninstall at any time. Um, but take it from me. If you've watched me and like to play um, certain games like this, do install. 
Um, and also, if you're not sure about the game, I stream on. I'm gonna to try to stream more on Twitch. So I know I stream Madden Weekend League a lot, but um, there are occasions where I feel like streaming this game. But um, sometimes, I, since I haven't made a video on it, I don't like to introduce it to my viewers. But since this is the first video. Um, I do want to introduce this game to you guys just because I think that right now, you know, certain games that come out and if you play it like a year later, you will feel very behind. I think right now is the perfect time to start the game because um, the developers are developing slow, but for new players, you can take advantage of that. And for old players like me, like, yes, we're pretty much done, but if you look at my artifacts, like, I still haven't unlocked a lot of these. Like, I only have two rows of 20 levels. Like, I need a lot more to do. Like, all of these are zeros, so I still have a lot more to do when it comes to that. Um, and same thing with weapons. I only have one level 90 weapon. Um, granted, it's a very good weapon, but I still need to... Oh, maybe two. I have two level 90 weapons, but I still need to upgrade my weapons accordingly, so um, that's what I'm going to be doing, but let me know if you guys play this game um, and what you've been doing as well. Um, appreciate it, all of you guys that have watched my videos. Um, thanks for that, and I'm going to try to, I can't promise you that I'll upload more, but um, if you do watch me on stream, on Twitch, that's usually where I stream. Um, I'm gonna have to set myself a goal to at least do one monthly upload of every game that I play. I do play Warzone, but like that, I only log on to Warzone with my buddies, so probably not gonna upload a video on that. Mainly because A, I'm not good at the game, and B, Warzone, you're just gonna hear my buddies in the background raging, so. Um, I don't wanna bring toxic toxicity in this channel, so. I'm just gonna, and this game is really relaxing too. Like, you know, if you were playing Madden and Weekend League, I usually revolt to this game just because it doesn't make me angry or anything like that. It's more of a relaxing game. Um, there, the music in the background is great. I'm, I don't have it on right now just because I might get copyrighted, but um, if you do play this game and run around, um, all the music that plays in this game hit the right notes at the right time. So, yeah. Um, give it a go. And for those of you guys that do play, um, I'm in a North America server, so if you want to add me, um, please link your uh, UID down below in the comments. So, yeah. Uh, appreciate all of you guys. Um, see you next time.